For more than 60 years, she has been a symbol of the Medicine Hat Exhibition and Stampede, representing our community on a provincial and national stage. With her princess always at her side, the Medicine Hat Stampede Queen acts as an ambassador for a long-standing tradition of honoring Southern Alberta's cowboy heritage. The first young lady named Queen in Medicine Hat was Vera Fleming in 1917 and was Queen of the Carnival. Over the next decades, various Queen competitions took place, crowning young women based on popularity. But it wasn't until 1956 that a board of directors formed the Queen program, as we know it today, requiring contestants to have horsemanship skills, a pleasant personality, poise, and strong public speaking abilities. Things also fine-tuned during the royalty's reign. It really teaches them how to be, how to um, be ambassadors and how to public speak and how to, you know, it, it certainly grows them as, as young individuals. Falling in line with Miss Rodeo Canada rules, two girls are crowned each year, a queen and princess. They travel and promote Medicine Hat's annual stampede and take part in various local charity programs. These young ladies do thousands of volunteer hours every year. They travel all year, so their, their, um, their traveling is not only during summer, during Stampede, although they do go to numerous rodeos. They go to um, a number of rodeos out of town. They, they ride in many parades. They just got back from Calgary. They just got back from Airdrie. They were in Leader, Sundry, and so they really get an opportunity to represent Medicine Hat, not only at uh, provincial level, but they, they got an opportunity to go to CFR in Edmonton and really represent Medicine Hat on a, on a national level as well. I think it's really important for these young ladies to be, to be horsewomen and to be able to represent the Stampede as horsewomen. And um, I mean, some of these young ladies are incredible horsewomen. So I, like, I just believe that that's a great connection to the, to the Stampede and great, great opportunity for the, for the city. Over its history, Medicine Hat has had six young women go on to be crowned Miss Rodeo Canada, including the mom of this year's Medicine Hat Stampede Queen. I was talking to Laura and she said we are the first mother-daughter to be queen and that in itself is such an honour. I know my mom would have been just as happy for me if I got princess or didn't get crowned tonight. She was very proud of me and how my week went and that in itself is just amazing that my mom was so supportive of me whether I wanted to run or not. Our 2015 Stampede Queen, Allie Mullen, will now be the next local gal to enter the Miss Rodeo Canada race. The competition at the Miss Rodeo Canada pageant is very similar to the competition we have here at Medicine Hat. We do a pretty good job of putting on the whole competition week here. The girls are really put through the paces to make sure that we get the right ones picked out. And so I've already got the experience here at Medicine Hat to carry forward to the Miss Rodeo Canada competition. More than 90 young women have held the title of Medicine Hat Royalty over the years. And in doing so, Rhonda says they've created a special tradition that only carries on thanks to the support of the community. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Leanne Evans.